All right guys, so what are my Premiere Pro export settings for YouTube in 2020? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do and also some best practices so you can get the best quality possible when you're uploading to YouTube. All right, so once we've finished our editing in Premiere Pro, we basically wanna come up to File, Export, Media, and this will open up the Export dialog box. Once we're in here, we can come up to the format and we can choose H.264. This is the best codec that I've found to upload to YouTube in. And we've got a whole bunch of presets here. Down the bottom, you can see the YouTube ones. And they're a good place to start. So I always upload in 4K. Even if I've shot in 1080p, I'll always upload in 4K because the 4K gets a higher bit rate. I think it's about 40 megabit per second, whereas 1080 gets about eight to 10. So it's like four times more. So even if it's just 1080p, you'll just get more bit rate so it won't compress it as much. So it'll end up looking better anyway. So we choose the YouTube 4K. We do want to set an output name. So we can just click on this one and set the output name and where we want to save it. And then we come down here. So I pretty much always just choose match source because we should have set it up correct. But just double check to make sure the settings are right for what you shot in. Now you can choose render at maximum depth. It will add a little bit more time onto your renders. I haven't noticed that it makes a big difference because most of the stuff I shoot is only 8-bit anyway. So I usually leave that unchecked. And then we can just ignore all this and come down to the bitrate settings. And this is where it's really important. So if you don't have a lot of time, then just choose the VBR one pass, which is a variable bitrate one pass. And I usually set this to 50 megabit per second. I've been uploading at 50 and all my videos look pretty good. So if you do have time, however, then definitely do a VBR two pass. And this does two passes, so it can just get a little bit better quality. Um, so we want to keep the target bit rate at 50. I usually go the maximum bit rate to 80. Um, and then lastly, we just need to come down and choose maximum render quality. So that again, will just add a little bit more time to your render, but it'll make sure that there's the best quality possible. Then we've got the estimated file size down here. So 423 megabytes. And then we can either choose Q or export. Now, I highly recommend guys using Q. When you choose export, it bricks up Premiere Pro and it just means that you can't actually use it. So if you actually want to kind of like do a bit of stuff in Premiere Pro while it's exporting, then you can, you just have to press Q. So let's choose Q and this will load up Adobe Media Encoder. So then once it's in here, again, just double check to make sure the output file is right. And then we just need to press play and then we can see it rendering down here. And then again, you can see that if we go down back into Premiere, we can actually still do stuff in Premiere while it's exporting. If we press play button, it'll stop the render and it will play the video in Premiere Pro, so just be aware of that. All right guys, so those are my Premiere Pro export settings for YouTube in 2020. If you did enjoy this one, then consider liking and subscribing, uploading a butt ton of content like this. And as always, stay creative and just be you.